Hello YouTube and welcome to the channel. In this quick video, I am running my first test with Cinebench 2024. This is a new version of Cinebench that just came out. The cool thing about this one is it allows you to test your GPU alongside your CPUs. And I believe this one will actually let you test multi GPU systems um, all on one frame. So I'm gonna be using the results I get from this to compare it to my Blender rendering results and uh, really dig into how different workloads affect your machine. Uh, because I know that this runs on CUDA or HIP for um, AMD. So the results are not going to be the same as rendering in Blender, which is more ray tracing based. Uh, my result on this test was just under 32,000 points. I did get a 34,000 at one point, but um, running some background tasks slowed this down a bit. All right, and here is a list of all the GPUs that we've been testing in the Blender rendering scenes. Um, as you can see, it's fairly extensive. A lot of the older ones on this list are not compatible with Cinebench uh, 2024. We'll see though. Um, I know they mentioned they may or may not run on there, but everything that's within the last two or three generations should run on it. So we'll go through all those in the next couple weeks. I don't know what format I'll do yet because this test does take 10 minutes every time you run it. And um, that could definitely make for kind of a slower, more boring live stream. So I don't know if we'll go that way yet, but watch for more coming on uh, Cinebench 24. And then we're gonna compare that to how Blender uses your GPU since that is more of a uh, ray trace core render engine. So look for more soon. Hopefully uh, you guys find this interesting. Thank you, and I'll see you soon.